So, um, for now, the tent is staying because it took me forever to put it on. So, uh, you got your little Smitty Built logo there. Um, and me and my family, we slept in this tent for one night. Uh, only one night so far. I just got it on Saturday. We slept in it Saturday night. And um, I was quite comfortable. I'm definitely going to look uh, at getting uh, an extra foam pad to put inside of the tent um, underneath or on top of the mattress just to add a little to it I'm a big guy and I could feel the hard bottom of the tent a little bit if you're a smaller lighter person uh, you know that might not be an issue um, but you know I mean with the whole point it's all about comfort so uh, you know that's that's what we're going for so uh, one last thing here these are the tent poles that uh, come included with the tent. Like I said, they are all the same size. Um, after you use them the first time, they will somewhat stay bent. Um, from what I read, that is perfectly normal. All of them do it. Um, when you're putting these um, poles back into the bag, make sure you put them um, with the straight end first. Uh, the, the fabric is doubled up here on the bottom, extra thick. If you try and put them the other way, they get stuck on each other and they get lodged in there and it's just kind of a pain to fight them. Um, so these real quick, I'll just show you one. I'm not going to show you every window, but these go. Uh, there's a little slot in the skirt of the fabric here. So you just kind of open that up and these have a hole drilled into the aluminum that they fit into. They're made to come out of the tent at an angle uh, and then you rotate it so the hook is faced up like that and then undo your buckle and again pardon the camera work i'm doing this one-handed you just loop it onto there and you can see it holds it out just fine if i was to do this one also over here uh you could see it holds very tight over the window and you're not going to get unless you really got some serious sideways rain you're not going to have an issue with this um i'll have to review the rain fly at another time um I'll tell you that I, I attempted to put the rain fly, uh, it comes separate from the tent in the box. And when I went to put the rain fly on, I had a very difficult time uh, getting it to line up and get taut and tight everywhere that it was supposed to. Uh, they're very clear in the instructions that you have to use all five buckles per side. Um, and there's actually, uh, so you got five essentially, and then three on the front of the veranda. So you have one, uh, Oh my gosh. One, you got two, three, four, and five here on the corner. Um, and then uh, the Rainfly has some flaps on it also uh, so that when you put it on, these windows can still be open. And in the pictures, there's not a good description in the instructions, but in the pictures, in the manual that they give you and online, it kind of shows that the Rainfly uses these same hooks, so it goes through this little awning and then it goes through the Rainfly. Uh, but I'm not sure if I didn't have it exactly right when I do that. Uh, these straps have zero tension on them at all. Some of the other ones are quite tight. And the way that the Rainfly lays over the tent, uh, it has some like weird loose areas that uh, don't really seem to fit the tent super well. Um, I'll have to mess around with that a little more. I tried to put it on and I thought, nah, forget it. Um, one cool thing that I will mention about the Rainfly is that on the top where you have your sunroofs there, in the Rainfly they have put uh, plastic windows like what you would have uh, in a soft top Jeep. And those two windows sit on the tops of um, basically the the moon roof that they put inside the tent that way you can have the rain fly on you can still have these uh just mesh closed on these and you can still see out uh at night the sun will still come into the tent in the morning uh you know that kind of thing it's like a jeep plastic window material for like a soft top so um yeah that's basically it um you know folding it up is basically the reverse of putting it together it's uh, it's pretty easy. I mean, it's as easy as I expected it to be. Uh, and really, the setup does not take long at all. Um, be wary of those poles if you're looking at getting this tent. Those ends are quite delicate. Um, 
considering three of them were broke just during shipping. I don't, maybe they were broke when they were installed at the factory on those pipes. Um, the only other issue I had with, when I first got the tent here was they do a pretty good job wrapping the ladder up. This tab here uh, was bent way over. And so I actually had to take this in my garage, put it in the vise, clamp it down and kind of uh, tweak this back so that this tab would line up here with the um, mount for the ladder. So um, again, if you, you know, that may be something that, uh, you know, if you're not interested in dealing with a small little repair like that out of the box, uh, you know, that might be an issue for you. Um, but you know, things happen during shipping. I waited forever for this tent. I certainly wasn't about to try and, uh, put it back in the box and take it back to four wheel parts. So, um, yeah, uh, if you're interested in this tent, you see this video today. It happens to be Memorial Day, and uh, Four Wheel Parts is doing a um, we pay the sales tax deal. Uh, so this tent is twelve sixty four, I believe, out the door. Uh, they're paying the sales tax right now. Um, I had a Gen One Overlander XL on order, and they are back ordered. Uh, Four Wheel Parts says they don't know if they're going to continue to make them now that they've released the Gen 2. Uh, so I had already put down basically $1,200, including tax for the Gen 1. Uh, they upgraded me to the Gen 2, got it in for me the next day, uh, and the difference was like $60 bucks, uh, for the new tent. And supposedly the new design, uh, you know, especially the cover, that's what I heard people complain about the most and supposedly this fixes the issue that people were having with the cover so uh yeah that's it if you guys have any other questions or anything like that uh feel free to comment i'll check back and try and answer any questions uh, i know this video is going to be long uh you know but it is what it is i don't believe there's any other reviews or videos about this tent out there right now uh it just came out i believe on friday so uh pretty cool they said they're selling a lot of them uh, and I'm excited. I feel like the price is pretty good. Definitely the cheapest for a tent anywhere near this size. Uh, this is about one of the biggest tents you can get on the market that is a side fold as opposed to a truck bed uh, fold over cab kind of a tent. Um, this is about the biggest they come. So uh, yeah, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Thanks.